friends, this is Carol Baldwin coming to you today to talk to you about Laura Sassy's masterclass on picture book writing on April 24th via Zoom. And I'm going to talk to you a little bit about page turning and picture clues in picture books. One of the topics that Laura is going to be talking to us about and which we will explore in workshops and activities. I'm going to use, as an example, Diva Dolores and the Opera House Mouse, one of Laura's picture books. And I'm going to read to you a couple of pages and talk to you about page turns. So this is how it starts. Fernando loved chocolate and cheese on dry toast and popcorn and gumdrops, but what he liked most was feasting on Mozart, Puccini, and Strauss, and lending a paw at the old opera house. Now, here is the picture of Fernando. Next page. Dolores loved glamour and spotlights and praise. She longed to be showered with fragrant bouquets. Now, here was her chance after years in the chorus to take center stage and be Diva Dolores. Me, 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 me. And here is that page. Now, think about that. After hearing that, we never said, we never, the author never had to say that Fernando was a mouse. And we didn't have to say what kind of animal Dolores was, because we're seeing it in the picture, right? So there are picture clues. And at the end of this page, me, 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 you have a good guess of what might be happening on the following page. So the book then proceeds to show how the two of them interact and how the mouse and Dolores some problems together and they don't quite get along together and then in the end the mouse saves the day and saves Dolores's performance and so um, Dolores is incredibly grateful so here is the page spread at the end and this is how that reads now that's a Dolores Okay, this is after the mouse has saved the show. Has saved Dolores' show. Now that said Dolores was a diva debut. I couldn't have done it, dear mouse, without you. Then heaving a sigh that was humble and true, she said, I'm so sorry. Can we start anew? Of course, cheered Fernando with kindness and ease. We'll make a great pair, just like carrots and peas. Just like pretzels and salt, just like coffee and cream, we'll be diva and mouse. Okay, so that's the way that page ends. So you have a glimpse of the fact that now they're friends together after they had fallen apart. And what's going to be next? The author has us on our seats, the edge of our seats, trying to figure out what's going to be next. And we see... The Opera House team. So that is just a little bit of a glimpse how Laura Sassy accomplished that. And I am trying to write a picture book myself. This is my yummy well, nonfiction picture book called A Garden for the Birds. And what I did to try to figure out some of the pacing is I took my first page, what I thought what I first what would be the first page. I cut it out and I put it on what I thought was page one and I made sure at the end that it would be something that would interest the reader and the reader would want to turn the page to find out. So there's the clue to the page turn. And I have slips of paper for the text that I've cut apart and I can move them around on this dummy trying to figure out where a natural page turn would be. Now, this is just my first attempt at writing a picture book, 
and I am looking forward to learning a lot more about page turning, pacing, and as well as leaving clues for the illustrator to draw and not saying it all. I hope that you will join us at Write to Ignite via Zoom. There'll be a link below where you can register for our Picture Book Masterclass with Laura Sassy. See you there. Bye.